So I've used this purchase a BenQ SW hardware calibrated display. In this video, I will guide you through the various cables you're going to need to hook up different generations of computers that you may have to your SW hardware calibrated display. Specifically, the one that I have with me right now to do this demo is an SW2700PT. This is BenQ very first hardware calibrated display in this series. It is a 2K 27 inch display. This guy will also work for the SW240 that is their 24 inch HD resolution display and also the discontinued SW320 that is their 32 inch 4K display. I'm Art Suan Sang, BenQ Ambassador, and let's get started. For additional information, I will include links to various cables that I'm using in this video in the description below, and also a guide on how to calibrate your BenQ using Palette Master Element and the best settings to use within Palette Master Element. If you haven't yet, please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel, and let's talk cable. I'm going to start out by focusing on the 2016 newer MacBook or MacBook Pro in this case with a USB Type-C over Thunderbolt 3 connection. In this case, if you have an iMac or a Mac Mini that has USB Type-C or Thunderbolt 3, this will be the exact same setup that you will use as well. Specifically though, we're going to talk about the laptop here. The one thing is that all of these displays that I mentioned before, the SW2700PT, SW240, and the SW320, None of these display have USB Type-C, so we're going to have to do some adapting. The number one thing you're going to need is the power cord. Because the display does not deliver the power to your laptop, you're going to need a power source from somewhere, so obviously we're going to use the power brick that have come with your laptop to power your laptop. Secondly, we need a cable to carry the display signal to your laptop. Now the thing is that, here's the case. The cable I'm going to use here is going to be on one end of it, a DisplayPort connection, and on the other end will be a USB Type-C. Now, I'm avoiding using any kind of adapter that will involve HDMI because HDMI has a tendency to compress tonal range or RGB range in this case. And when that happens, what's going to happen every time is that when you try to do a hardware calibration on your display, it will always fail. So this is a cable that I have tried and I guarantee you that it will work. So that what you're going to do here is use a USB Type-C connection here to plug it into your laptop USB Type-C connection. It doesn't really matter which USB Type-C port you plug it in. And on the other end here, you're going to use the display port to plug it into the display port connection on your display. Now with this alone, what the laptop will be able to do is send the signal or the display signal, in this case, to the screen. You will be able to see pictures and everything. However, if you try to run a calibration right now, the calibration will fail or the calibration won't launch at all. When you launch it, it will give you an FTDI driver error. And part of the reason there is because you're going to need another extra cable to link this up to the display and that is the USB cable. So in this case, I'm going to use the included USB cable from BenQ. This is a USB type A to a USB type B. This is a 3.0. We can note that by the blue plastic that's on the inside and also that little bump there on the type B part. Now the thing is that this USB type A will not plug in directly into my laptop so what I'm going to need here in this case is a USB type A to a USB type C adapter. Another cable you can get too is that they do make this singular cable with a USB type C connection to a USB type B that you can also get as well. But in this case I'm going to use the included cable. So what you would do is plug this in to your laptop and plug the other end in. To the USB uplink on the display right here. And just like that, you are now able to do a hardware calibration on your display using Palette Master Element without any error. In addition, the two USB port on the side here and the SE card slot will also work because of this USB uplink too. The problem with this setup is that we're now occupying, I have the MacBook Pro here, we're now occupying three out of the four ports on the computer in order to just link the display. If you have a 2016 or newer MacBook Pro, the better choice for you to get if you want a 2K screen would be the SW270C or the SW321C. That is their 32-inch model that they have announced. A couple of things that I want to mention here is that the cable is already plugged into the display. This is the uplink cable to the hockey puck for the display, and this is the power cable that's already been pre-plugged in 
right there. And lastly, what you have to do here is plug in the color perimeter or the calibrator you're going to use. In this case, I'm using the X-Rite i1 Display Pro. You can go ahead and take the USB Type-A port and plug it into the side USB-A on the display. If you want to plug this into directly into the laptop, you can. However, you're going to need another dongle in order for you to be able to do that. And if you do that, something to keep in mind is that all your four ports on the MacBook Pro are now occupied. Now, this becomes a worse situation if you have a MacBook Air or if you have a MacBook that has only two ports of USB Type-C. That becomes more of a problem. So that's why I said if you go with a newer model with a USB Type-C built in, it's going to be a much better option for you. So now I'm going to focus on my 2015 MacBook Pro or anything that before that that has all the ports here on the side. If you haven't ordered iMac or Mac Mini, this will be very similar to the setup you're going to use as well. BenQ has included the cables that you're going to use for the display in the box. In this case, we're going to use a mini display port here. This is the part port that looks really small like this. It also looks very similar to Thunderbolt 2 port because Apple implements Thunderbolt 2 over mini display port. And the other port here we're going to use or the other side of the cable here, this is a full display port that we're going to link to the BenQ display. So in this case, what you're going to do is go ahead and plug in the mini display port to your Mac laptop and the other end to your BenQ SW display. Now with this setup alone, if you turn on the laptop right now and turn on the screen, you will see the pictures on the BenQ display. However, if you're trying to do a hardware calibration, it won't work and all the ports on the side here won't work. So in this case, you're going to need to use one additional cable that is included with the BenQ display and this is a USB 3.1 type A to a USB 3.1 type B. Now the nice thing about the older Mac is that because they have USB type A built in, you don't need to use an adapter or buy an extra cable in this case. It just comes ready for you. So in this case, what I'm going to go in is plug in the USB type A into the laptop and take the USB type B uplink cable here and go ahead and plug it into the uplink port on the display. Now that I have this set up, everything is ready to go. Something to keep in mind too is that I have the MagSafe powering my laptop right now. So if you have any of the older Mac, this will be the way how you would need to set it up. Just two simple cables, it makes life fairly easy. Lastly, what you need to do here is plug in the colorimeter or the color caliber you're going to use. In this case, I'm using a colorimeter called the X-Rite i1 Display Pro. You can go ahead and take the i1 Display Pro, plug it directly into the USB port on the side of the display, or in this case, because I have a 15-inch model, there is an extra USB Type-A port. I can always plug it directly into my laptop. However, if you only have one USB-A port on your laptop, you're going to have to rely on the USB-A port that is built into the display. Now that we have all the cables sorted out, the only last thing that you have to do is download Palette Master Element from BenQ website, install the program, and run it so that you can do a true hardware calibration on your BenQ SFU hardware calibrate display. For a guide on how to use Palette Master Element, make sure you check out the link in the description below. I have all the guides there, including the best settings to use for Palette Master Element. If you haven't yet, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit on the notification bell so you'll be updated every time I upload cool videos like this. And until next time, I just write.